So Abraham brought sheep and cattle and gave them to Abimelech, and the two men made a treaty. Abraham set apart seven ewe lambs from the flock. Now Lot, who was moving about with Abram, also had flocks and herds and tents. He, Isaac, had so many flocks and herds and servants that the Philistines envied him. Pharaoh asked Joseph's brothers, What is your occupation? Your servants are shepherds, they replied to Pharaoh, just as our fathers were. The words of the prophet Amos, one of the shepherds of Tekoa, the vision he saw concerning Israel two years before the earthquake. Now David was the son of Jesse, who was from Bethlehem in Judah. David went back and forth from Saul to tend his father's sheep at Bethlehem. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them and said, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. When the angel had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby, who was lying in a manger. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told.